So Amy T posted on my channel, hey Will, why don't you just do some little five minute videos of what you're doing throughout the day? So that's what I'm gonna do today. Here's a quick five minute video of all the things that we're gonna do today. So we're out in the, in the Homestead Garage today and we're just gonna cover a couple things. One, I gotta boil down some maple syrup. Two, we gotta work on this beast, the Kubota, get the snow blower off of it. But I wanted to show you this. I'm getting flooding again in the garage. It's all along this side and all along the back. And I'll show you this. Here's the reason why. The wall for the garage is right up against the dirt. So what I need to do is dig this out along here. And basically after digging it out, hopefully get some drain tile or something in there to make the water, you know, not flood. You can see this side is even worse. But one of the additions that I did last year was we put in that downspout there and then brought it all the way up and past the garage. With gutters on, what that's doing now is it's getting the water away from the building. So just fix up that last part in the back. We'll probably do that as a spring project, maybe a weekend thing. Today, no time. What I've been doing is just running some fans in there to kind of dry the ground out and keep the water down and it's keeping the moisture level down in the garage, so that's good. So one thing people have been asking about is, how's the maple syrup season going this year? This year, not very good. Clean bucket. Uh, better. Cleaner bucket. See all that junk in the bottom there? You don't want that in your syrup. Let there be fire! You're probably asking yourself, Will, where the heck is the maple syrup evaporator? Why are you using the boiler? This year's maple syrup season has been exceptionally bad. We normally have about 115 gallons of sap at this point in time in the season. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the season's been really messed up and I've only gotten maybe 20 gallons total. So unfortunately, I just we haven't had good sap run this year just because the weather's been so bad. So I've been, I've been going the easy route and running the uh, propane much, much easier. Just set this out here, let it go. Make sure it doesn't boil over and just keep bringing down the levels every day. You know, we try to go out and collect the sap up and you know, in a weekend, you know, we'll boil down a, a couple gallons. I, I usually will go out and we'll fill up those four, which is what we get for a week. So we got a couple three gallons and a couple five gallons there. Um, you know, for this whole week, I, I got a half a five gallon. It's, it's just not flowing. So that's really it. One other item in the live stream, a couple of people have commented about, they're like, what is the midget stage here for? Do you have uh, shows and stuff like that where the kids dance on the, uh, on the stage? And actually, no, I'll show you exactly what it is. So one of the last projects Todd did out here on the property was built this. And if you look at it, with the steel top, the cedar sides, if it looks familiar to you, it's the same design as our screen room. What I plan to do is if you've ever seen our uh, screen room and screen porch, the wood shed's gonna get stained the same color. I've got a, about a half gallon of stain left and that should be enough to do that. But what I wanna do is kinda start getting the, the buildings to match. You know, the garage matches the house, the screen room matches the wood rack. And we're just kinda using the same building techniques that we've done on other projects like this one right into that one. So it's, it's, it's a way to kind of dress up the place. You know, I, I know a lot of people just kind of make it work with what they have, but I thought, you know, if I'm gonna be building a place that we're gonna to retire to eventually someday, you know, I want it to, to look nice and I want it to be very functional for us. So if we're gonna build something, let's build it right. You know, we could have easily just used the aluminum framed uh, screen room that they had out here before, but we thought, what the heck, let's, let's do it nice and put a tin roof on it and, and stain it up with some cedar. And then since we had building materials left over, 
didn't cost very much to do this. I think I've got maybe $300 into this because of additional on top of the miscellaneous leftover supplies from the other projects. So it's, it's just kind of how it works out here and we kind of put the stuff together. One project that I finished last fall that you guys didn't really get to see was the lighting system that we put in here. So up on the roof, I bought a $29 set of lights on Amazon. And then I ran electrical out here to a switch up on the top. Just turn that on. We've got some nice lights out here. So this is an average Saturday morning for you. It helps if you push the record button when you're going. But uh, so the wife and kids are in town right now. So I figured it'd be easy to do one of the first five minute videos. Amy, thank you for the idea. But this is kind of what a Saturday morning is like. A little projects here and there. We got the maple syrup boiling. Gonna do a little bit of stuff around the property here and get a couple things done. But I thought I'd show you guys this. This is kind of a cool project that we did last summer. And uh, I didn't get to spend a lot of time out here, but we plan to use it a lot this year with the bugs and everything else in Wisconsin during the summer is a big problem. A place like this is nice to have. So that's it, five minute update from the weekend homestead Saturday morning. I'm gonna record a couple of these today and I'll drop them throughout the week. But uh, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning into our live shows on Sunday nights. And uh, other than that, this has been the weekend homestead, living the simple life one weekend at a time. Thanks for watching.